we are listening to the market, we are listening to the needs, so we are implementing the necessary changes to assure that we retain the good talents. Millennials now want small companies, want to be flexible, want more informal environments, and companies like Renault need to adapt. Do not squeeze too much the price when you negotiate something. If you squeeze too much, you will not have the quality you are expecting. IT is no more purely technical. Now IT is a role that is more related with communication, collaboration, understanding the business needs, answering to these needs, transforming this into solutions. Luck happens when preparation meets opportunity. You don't have any excuse when the opportunity knocks at your door to say, I cannot take it because I'm not ready. This is Ciarna TV. My name is Hendrik Dekkers. I'm here today with Miguel Texera. Welcome, Miguel. Okay, thank you. Miguel is today the head of information systems, technologies, and digital uh, manufacturing at Renault here in Casilla in uh, Portugal. Miguel graduated in electrical engineering as a postgrad in information management, worked in several uh, different industries, textile, food, metals, automotive, uh, both in Portugal and France, and has been here at Renault Cassia for the last 14 years, where he's grown from business unit manager to the head of these different uh, uh, divisions, and now also taking uh, on more international uh, responsibilities. Uh, Renault Group, we all know them, they're a big company, 120 years old, 183,000 employees in 37 countries, and in 2018 they sold 3.9 million vehicles. In the Casilla side, uh, they specialize in the assembly of gearboxes, oil and water pumps, uh, engine uh, parts and other components. Yes. So Miguel, what I wanted to start with in this conversation is uh, on the digital transformation program that you have implemented on the, on the shop floor here in the, in the factory. Can you, uh, can you tell me about that? Yes, the, the digital transformation program we started in 2016. Mm -hmm. We started to think about it, uh, how, we, how we could implement, implement the, the, the digital transformation and uh, implement a, a strategy, a clear strategy with a, with a clear roadmap. Mm -hmm. So in 2018, we decided to uh, make a breakthrough because we saw on, on other companies, we saw also on other uh, plants of, from the group that these digital bricks are being tested uh, alone mm -hmm. and not integrated. So we decided to implement on our business unit on shop floor yeah. a breakthrough initiative, making all together all the all the digital uh, digital bricks all together uh, on the same business business units to take advantage of the of the the value of being all together. Yeah. So and when you say digital bricks, what do you mean? I mean to test all the uh, artificial intelligence, to test predictives and uh, predictive analytics, 3D printing uh, technologies, uh, robot collaborative robotics, uh, and many many all the bricks altogether. Mobility, uh, being uh, implementing uh, agnostic agnostic devices uh, technologies based on web based on. I can be used on, on any devices. So we, d we decided to test it all together. All, all of it. All of it on the same business unit as we can, uh, we can uh, when we're going to buy, uh, to buy an apartment or a flat. Yeah. Uh, the sales can, uh, can, does not show all in, all in the bathroom, all in the room. So you show it all together. So mm -hmm. we can decide with all together integrated. So we did the same thing in our business unit. And in the business unit here in, in Casilla, or here in Casilla, with a, with a business unit on on our shop floor, okay. on uh, oil pump, and uh, we decided uh, for a business unit that has a heterogeneous mm -hmm. uh, perimeter, yeah. so we can test it uh, with all the variables that uh, can can uh, can give us more information. So we we implemented on a, on a business unit with uh, uh, one mechanical manufacturing and two assembly lines okay. connected. So, and this, this was connected. And one of the assembly lines is main, mainly manual and the other is uh, automated. automated. So we have uh, heterogeneous perimeters so we can yeah. test it and we can see 
uh, all the variables all together so we can see what the so you use the oil pump business unit as like a test case to test out all the what you call the digital bricks of the digital all transformation together, yeah. in an integrated way so okay. yeah and for do that we need a, a, a good infrastructure we, we need some pillars to, to test it better yeah. and uh, we thought uh, we, we did an assessment with a partner with a local partner and uh, we concluded that uh, um, taking taking a manufacturing executing system would be the bricks and the, the, the infrastructure needed to con to support all the all the, the strategy mm -hmm. so uh, we started uh, we implemented it in 2018 we did it on four month it was a four months. challenge yeah. uh, uh, excellent challenge because it was uh, very hard for us very hard for the partner mm -hmm. and it was uh, very difficult but but uh, we we reached with uh, with some results and uh, this uh, this initiative was was seen also for our corporate colleagues and um, they took us uh, they took us uh, they considered it will it is very interesting to mm -hmm. to do to do this breakthrough initiative and so uh, we at the end of the prof proof of concept that we done on the business unit we stopped and then we 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 shift to a, a larger program, uh, M, uh, an MOEs for all the plants, and uh, we did it uh, being a pilot plant for the, uh, implementing MOS on, on all other plants from Grono Group. So, so let's go back in the in the in the pilot. What was what did you uh, test out exactly? What were the elements that you uh, that you implemented? So what there? what we did implement to implement a manufacturing executing system, and the main goal. Was to a manufacturing execution system. Execution okay. system. Yeah. And the main goal was to, to track OE, Operation, uh, operation Excellency Efficiency, and uh, lead time. It is the, the two main KPIs that uh, we wanted to, to measure. Uh -huh. And for that, we, we, uh, on our strategy, we need to, to track all the process, we need to track the product, we need to, to track all the operations, and also we need to track. Uh, who has done the job? So uh, have a good information on real time mm -hmm. from operations, from machines, yeah. equipments, for, for from people, from the process, uh, from from the product. And this uh, manufacturing execution system is like a standard system that you implemented, yes. or it's a it's a homegrown system, or how does that no, work? Uh, it's a it's a standard system that mm -hmm. it can sell by by it's a is a ninety five uh, standard. Uh -huh. So, uh, and uh, the, the importance of this system, it can respond to many models. It can respond to quality models, can respond to predictive uh, maintenance models, can respond to uh, piloting uh, uh, a line, can respond to, ma to many models. And, uh, and all the information is all together on the same, the same system. Mm -hmm. So it's easier to, 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 to have uh, access to this information. It's easy to correlate information yeah. and uh, uh, it's easy to, to make reporting. So. Uh, this is uh, allow us to avoid waste, wasting time on uh, dis displacements or uh, checking for the information, asking for information for some with someone. So we need uh, this this technological uh, breakthrough. What's also an organization, yeah. or organizational uh, change because. So, and so you said you uh, measure this in OEE, operational excellence and efficiency. Yeah. And the lead time. Time. And what are the uh, the exact indicators in operational excellence and efficiency? So, uh, at with the same cycle time, for example, uh, to produce more more to product more more pieces, okay, more more parts. So, how much can you produce each hour or each shift or each yes. day? Okay. So, and then we we, we realize that we had more less less uh, waste maybe waste less uh, uh, pain pain uh, pain faults. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also have uh, less uh, quality quality defaults, mm -hmm. and uh, we also had an important uh, I I KPI, internal KPI, yeah. between uh, mechanical uh, mechanical manufacturing uh, line and the two assembly lines. It was a work in progress. Mm -hmm. So the stocks we can reduce the stocks between because we can we can synchronize the production, mm -hmm. so we can reduce the the, the work in progress yeah. and the stocks between. It. And out of the, um, the, 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 the business case that you did, could you measure what the results were? How, how much did the operational excellence uh, increased? 
Uh, how, how much the lead time re reduced? The expected results was uh, more 7% from uh, OEE. Okay. Uh, and to produce to products by 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 shift more uh, uh, 1400 pieces mm -hmm. and uh, also reduce the maintenance the maintenance in in some percentage okay. and also the non quality from from the, from the products okay. so we measure that it is uh, and then the results uh, show us that uh, and so based on these way. results you said this is a, a, a great uh, manufacturing system and how are we going to implement this uh, throughout the company, right? So, uh, when, we w when we started the work, then we, we needed to stop what we, we were doing, uh, the proof of concept we were doing, because we were going to be integrated on a larger, on a larger project. Yeah. So, uh, uh, at the end of the four month, uh, we integrated, uh, we integrated the, the corpor uh, corporate level and we integrated the MOS implementation uh, worldwide. Okay. Uh, this is will be lead then for uh, for with another team, mm -hmm. and we will uh, we will continue to to work on this project as a pilot. Okay, so this can mean major reductions in costs, increase in quality, and so on for the for Renault as a group. In large scale for all plants. Yeah, very impressive. What what you can I mean the test and then roll it out and the the results that and you to can suitable to prove and to demonstrate that MOS yeah. could be the solution to have uh, many information on real time mm -hmm. and effecti effectively uh, reduce uh, the non-quality, yeah. reduce the, the, uh, the loss, loss of performance. Another project we wanted to uh, discuss is the transversal platform yes. with geolocation and as so well. Can you talk about that? Yes, aggregated to this uh, first, uh, first uh, breakthrough challenge, we associated because we had some, some, uh, some vision uh, larger for, for our future, mm -hmm. uh, we consider that uh, nowadays uh, many uh, clients or sister client systems or vertical solutions or, or, or logistics or, uh, or environment or maintenance or, or production manufacturing always uh, are starting to need uh, local, uh, information, geolocalized information. Mm -hmm. So we saw that logistics needed for, for the operations, manufacturing need for the operations, maintenance, so we can see no, so uh, we don't need a vertical solution to be implemented, one for logistics, one for manufacturing, one for maintenance. Yeah. What we need, all the, all the clients need uh, georeference reference uh, for, to, to, to be delivered, so we need a transversal horizontal solution to be implemented that could be agnostic from technology considering accuracy if you want to to measure uh, to measure where the products are maybe you need accuracy from uh, some uh, meters mm -hmm. but if we need to to measure uh, someone who is doing uh, isolated work somewhere we need to be an accuracy for centimeters oh, yeah. so if we need to follow agvs maybe we need uh, another another kind of, of accuracy so if for that, we, we have different technologies. We have ultra-wideband, we have RFID, you have beacons, you have uh, many other solutions. So what we need it is a transversal platform that could be agnostic for this kind of technology. This is the first layer. Yeah. And the second layer, which will be to visualization. Uh, a platform that you can visualize all the assets, all the equipments, the people, the product, the AGVs. Uh, and and AGVs are? Automatic guided vehicles. Automatic guided vehicles. Guided vehicles. So your autom um, automatic guided. Normally, normally for logistics. Yeah. Automatic guided vehicles. All the assets in the in, yeah. in, in production. All your people. All the products. The end products and so on. You want to geolocate them on the on the on the level, the granular level Honestly. needed per different asset and so on so that you know exactly where they are, so where that you can are. follow them throughout the complete pr uh, production process and, 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 and logistics process and this so on. This is the first step, so we can visualize on the same common, same common mapping or uh -huh. cartography. We use uh, technology or uh, Google Maps, so with different layers. One layer can respond to a, to a client, one layer can, can then respond to another client. And the goal is to have this standard platform horizontal to serve multi-clients. Okay. So all the assets, all the equipments, all the people are being geolocalized and uh, using APIs, application program interfaces, yeah. can communicate in a standard way with multiple systems as on demand. 
So you created like a service, a geolocation service for all the different assets, vehicles, people and so on. Uh, that then through APIs is usable for all systems and also external clients and, and so on so that they know yeah. where, their st where their stuff is basically. Yes, if I am a logistic, um, logistical logistics manager, mm -hmm. I can go and check with my cartography in my layer. Uh -huh. for my, I am a client, I'm a logistic client, so I can check where are my assets, where are my AGVs. If I am a guy from maintenance, uh, maintenance manager, I can go and check where are my equipment. Mm -hmm. If I am, uh, I can even resi uh, uh, register events, security events, yeah. uh, or some uh, uh, problems with cleaning. Mm -hmm. So we can resist it, uh, we can, uh, we can uh, identify on, on, the, on the platform an event, and we can later take it, take it into yeah. consideration. And we, we can see everything on, on the platform to geo geolocalization way. And how do you budget for a system like that? Because I can imagine that for uh, an, a manuf new manufacturing system where you can reduce costs with 7% or optimize the, 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 the operational excellence, there the ROI is, is evident. If you can prove it in four months, it's clear and you can calculate how much you can save. With a more transversal platform like this, it's 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 harder to to immediately show the value. I can imagine. So we had we had the idea to implement it, but we didn't have the money. Okay. Unfortunately, we didn't have the money. So uh, we discussed with a partner, with a local partner, uh, and uh, we tried to to see if we can we can have a proof of concept uh, installed here with with him. Mm -hmm. It was patience. He patient. He patient. He was very patient to, to, to rearrange a, a way so we can test it. And then, luckily, we had a department, our security department, that uh, sponsors this initiative so we can test it with, uh, with the security events. Yeah. We, we demonstrate the, the technology, we demonstrate our idea, we test it with security so we can demonstrate to others that it works. Yeah. And then we can go further for other clients. And uh, the second step, it will be done on 2019 mm -hmm. because we want to, to see all the value stream, all, uh, all the value stream mapped uh, and uh, uh, and implemented on, on our platform. This is the the, the, the third the third layer, mm -hmm. and to implement uh, using blockchain, we can track products, we can track also our suppliers, we can check the origin of, of the products, and uh, we can deal with some ethical ethical issues, uh, we can assure the origin of the, of the product using the blockchain. This is the second step. We didn't do it already. Mm -hmm. we, do, we will do it on the second semester, but this, this, this is the, the necessary pillar to, to, uh, to assure the, the, this, this step. So the second part of this year, you're going to implement like a blockchain ledger, let's say, so that for assets and so on, so that you, and, and products, so that in an independent way, people know where the products are, where yes. they come from, what they're and certified. The, the, where, the, where, where the product comes from, who is the supplier, have the, the right traceability with, with critical parts because everything can, can, be, can be traced. Yeah. But we will start for uh, the critical parts, what is most uh, important. And trace. why do you put this in a blockchain and not in a normal database? Because blockchain can, can assure us, uh, it's now the technology that the uh, market uh, has show, showed to us, that it can prove and certifies, certifies that, uh, uh, that, is a, that is a network that can certify the origin mm -hmm. and uh, we cannot uh, hack the chain. This is very important so we can give some confidence and transparency to our clients. So it's like an independent certificate of origin yeah. that you can give to your products that even if you want it, you could, not, uh, you could not change. Yes, it's the network that certifies that what we are saying is true. And that has then, of course, value and uh, for, value, yes. for everybody in, uh, uh, that you're working with, so that they have an independent certification of the origin of, uh, of things. You see a lot of potential uh, in, of for blockchain in manufacturing in general? Yes, mainly for traceability in logistics, uh, but in manufacturing I see uh, this is, a, this is a very important for, for manufacturing because uh, uh, clients are, are demanding mm -hmm. transparency, are demanding to know where the product is, yeah. are demanding to know where the, the product came from. 
Uh, we need to know if the if uh, well, it, I'm keeping out of automotive, but uh, we, can, we, we can go another manufacturing industry, I mean, textile or something. Yeah. We can certify if it, it is done with a, a child, with a child or not. Is coming from China, is coming from Portugal, is coming from United States. Is it true? Can we certify that uh, this is not coming from the country that is not coming from the country yeah. it says? So this is some ethical also and transparency that is very important that with blockchain. Uh, it is the uh, a, a technology that are being beginning to, to prove that it can certify that things are just as we say. When you do a, a, when you're going to do this blockchain um, project second half of this year, how easy is it for you to find the necessary resources, the experts, specialists? Because this is new technology. This is a new technology. So we are trying to work. Uh, we will try to work with also with universities yeah. and some doctors. Uh, and uh, because this, this is a technology, it is, it's uh, on, it's starting. Mm -hmm. So we need to to get the good skills. We don't have it. So we need also to explore to to re to, set, to to make some to make some some research. Yeah. So we'll do it uh, in partnership with some okay. institutions. Uh, local institutions, but not uh, not so not not only universities, but also transfer technology institutes, for example. Okay, is that something that you do on a regular basis? Co collaborations with universities. Yes, we are collaborating, and, and more and more, uh, and with this management, we are increasing the the relationship with the, with the, with the local entities. So mm -hmm. this is a very 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 good experience. What other projects have you done together with, with universities? Can you give an example? Uh, an example. So we are trying to, to, to do something on uh, with uh, mobility, mm -hmm. also in data analytics. And we are working because data science, is, data science it's, a, it's a skill. We don't have it. Uh, and uh, unfortunately, we are not attracting the good, the good compet competence and the good mm -hmm. skills for us. So uh, we must uh, try to work with the, the competence and keep us keep, keep it with us because because this is a very very important uh, skill uh, and is starting uh, and it requires many knowledge it requires uh, some some uh, how do I say I don't I don't want it to to use technical words but data mining and being being able to correlate information being able to develop a small program that can can give us more information about the correlation of, of the parameters of the of the of the data, data sources. So it requires a lot of uh, it's it's a skill. It's very special. Yeah. How easy is it to attract top talent in in a manufacturer? I mean, you're a very well known brand. Um, you're here in Portugal. So how easy is it for you to attract top talent in in uh, in your IT and, and and digital manufacturing? It's not easy. Because I believe uh, I believe that uh, now uh, big groups like uh, Renault or any uh, any other brands mm -hmm. uh, are not so attractive for the young generations. Mm -hmm. Millennials no, now uh, uh, want small companies, want to be flexible, yeah. want more informal environments, and companies like Renault need to adapt. So we need to implement agile methodology. We need to ad adapt to this new new generation. Yeah. We need to be flexible. We need to change our our workspaces. So uh, we are adapting, but is uh, it is not uh, all. So what would you say are the the reasons why people would want to come and work for you? Why w is it exciting? Why do you stay here? Why do you your people stay here? Why is it uh, is this a good place for for? A digital and IT person to yes. come and work. So in my in my background, uh, I have known uh, many companies. Mm -hmm. Why I'm keeping in Renault? I'm I'm in Renault for 15 years because Renault keep challenging me with with challenging yeah, with another uh, with projects. So uh, I don't need to go out to be challenged with a, with another with another task with yeah. another mission with another function. So I can. I can have different missions, different functions, not leaving the company. Yeah. So this this is a good uh, a good way that Renault keeps uh, keeps uh, keeps uh, challenging uh, his collaborators and uh, yeah. and uh, assure that uh, we we stay if they want us to stay. And if you come and work here, you get a free car, I guess, as well. Or? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so let's um, 
go back a little bit how uh, how IT and, and and digital is organized here in in, uh, in 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 Renault. What are the different groups that you have, and how 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 do you work together? local and international, how is, how is IT in general organized and local? So here? IT is, is organized by domains. We have some IT domains. We are now changing. As, as, as I said, uh, Renault is changing. IT is changing. We are adapting for this new generation. We are adapting. So uh, we are changing the organization to be flexible. We are changing the names. Uh, we are being more, uh, more light, more lighter. Maybe I can say, but uh, normally uh, we, we define by, by by domains. It's defined by it's uh, organized by domains. Uh, what are domains? What domains are technical centers. It's like infrastructure Inf or infrastructure. ERP or. But now we're changing using a, a Spotify model, for example. We are changing in a Java way, uh, organizing us <coughs> in chapters, in domains, and in squads. So uh, this is uh, how Renault. Uh, are, are, is changing mm -hmm. the organization so can adapt for this uh, new generation. But classical, uh, there, there is also a domain that represents a technology, that represents a function associated, and uh, we deal between the local, the local yeah. IT with corporate IT. Yeah. And how do you split responsibilities between local IT and corporate IT? Who, who does what? So uh, normally the uh, local IT Implement, in, uh, assures in, co in, in relation with, with corporate that the quality, the, the quality assurance, the SLA, to assure that we don't, lo we don't lost production. Mm -hmm. We also have some, uh, uh, we have the right to, to develop some, some, uh, some, some initiatives or yeah. some projects and some technologies, uh, and we need to assure only to do that, that we respect the preconizations, that we respect the security the security uh, needed yeah. to implement this, this technology. So we're not, we are not freelancers. We cannot launch any initiatives uh, without the, the support of the corporate. So yeah. we need to respect some, some uh, instance so we can show our idea. They can uh, evaluate. You can say, so you can go further with this. Uh, this. We, we, can, we see it's a, good, it's a good opportunity. So you, you keep going so we can then after industrialized maybe for, for, for other company, for other plants. So how would you describe Renault in, um, in respect to implementing um, new ways of working, agile and so on and so on? Um, are, are, is Renault like an early adopter or an early follower or a later follower? How, because working in such a large organization is inherently is not easy to make changes, right? So being a big company, big, big company, uh, I would say we are following the, the, the trend. We are not early adopters. We yeah. cannot be early adopters. Early adopters were uh, the small companies, were the startups. Yeah. Uh, that's where the millennials want to be. If we need to, to, to retain talent, we need to, to adapt. So uh, I think we are followers. We are not early adopters, but we are we are listening to the market, we are listening to the needs, so we, we are implementing the, the necessary changes to assure that we retain the good talents. Okay, good. So how your role as, as head of information systems and technologies and, and digital manufacturing, what is the, your main goal? What is the thing that you're most focused on in, 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 in your job? Now, uh, I have two, two missions important. Maintain the quality, the quality of, of, of the IT services, don't lose, don't lose the production, mm -hmm. and in parallel implement the, necessi the necessary uh, changes and evolutions to assure that we, we, we answer to the, to the business needs. Okay. So this is a, uh, IT role is changing. Mm -hmm. IT role is, uh, we don't, IT is no, no more poorly technical. Yeah. Now IT, it's a, it's a role that is more related with the communication, collaboration, understanding the business needs, yeah. answering to, the, to these needs, transforming this into uh, solutions. So uh, this is how IT is changing now. And does that also mean that the people that work in, in the IT department here has changed? Do you like attract different profiles now than, than let's say five or 10 years ago? Do we, do we see other people working here? 
now the uh, the recent recently recently peop, recently stages and uh, and uh, collaborators that are coming to us are mainly focus on development. That's uh, that's uh, interesting because uh, we are receiving uh, receiving uh, uh, some some uh, some people that um, the the main goal for them is to develop to program because okay. it's a trend. It's a trend nowadays. It's to program. It's to being digital, uh, implementing solutions, yep. and now with with things like Raspberry, uh, Arduinos, and things like that, we need to this this kind of te technology technology arrives for everybody. So this attracts this attracts people, and uh, they want to make things. Yeah. And now it's easy. And is there still a lot of development going on then? Because I can imagine manufacturing is a, a very mature business that there's a lot of off the shelf solutions available. But still, there's a lot of development going on. Some there's still a lot of development, and mainly on web technologies, okay. because web technologies can answer uh, can answer to all devices. Mm -hmm. We can use it on uh, on any device. You can use it on, on mobile phones, on iPads, on computers, yeah. and the, the trend is now web development using some uh, some HTML5 or some other technology, not being tech. To technical, mm -hmm. but te uh, but uh, solutions and, and uh, programming languages that can allow us to use it uh, or any other any, any device yeah. anywhere. So this is mainly related also with the capacity that now we need to develop some uh, program APIs so we can communicate in a standard way with multiple yeah. systems. Tell me a little bit about uh, the Casia side here. How many people work here in total, and how, how big is the, the technology, the IT department here? So for now, uh, considering all temporary workers, we, we have uh, 1,400 uh, people uh, in the plant, in, in the place, and the IT department is 14. 14, okay. Also with temporary worker, oh, yeah. uh, apprentices. Uh, so you have to do a lot with a small team. A lot with a small team. <laughs> That's, uh, so how in, in your team that, that, that you lead here, um, what, is, what is your management style? How do you guide them? How do you make sure, how do you make sure that your team is successful? The aging is decreasing now. The age uh, is, decreasing. is decreasing. So we have now uh, many young talents. We have some, uh, some millenniums on, on the team. And uh, to keep them, we need to keep, the, keep, keep them involved with the projects. We keep, we need to keep them uh, with constant challenge. So my management style, I should say, is to delegate them, mm -hmm. the, to delegate the decisions, implement some agile methodology so we, they can discuss all together in collaboration mm -hmm. and uh, uh, being able to discuss the solutions together. And uh, it's, it's curious because if you say something to uh, one, one of the team member in the morning, at the end of the day, everybody knows. This is a very interesting. When we implement some collaboration style mm -hmm. to, to let them people decide, let, uh, let them people discuss and to uh, choose the right way to do something, when you, you only need to, to do a check yeah. after, uh, a sprint review, uh, if it is a project, it's, it's Im impressive how you, you have something that somebody has discovered in the morning and at the end of the day, everybody knows. Okay. Without doing nothing. <laughs> it happens. You have responsibility here, but now you also have more international responsibility. Can you yes. talk about that? So, so just to precise, I, I had a head of IT uh, and uh, digital manufacturing during 2018. Mm -hmm. I changed job at March 2019. Mm -hmm. So uh, now I am the digital uh, officer for Europe 2, regional digital officer for Europe 2, considering digital manufacturing. Okay. And uh, also process engineering and supply chain. And uh, on the perimeter, we have the Renault plants, uh, Portugal, Spain, and Slovenia. And uh, I, I am also related because I, I, my, my direction, it's, it's involved in the alliance Alliance, uh, Alliance activity that is considered Renault Nissan. Yep. So I have I have also uh, some exchanges with the Nissan plants, on uh, and uh, and uh, at, on the perimeter of Europe too, we have the the Spain uh, Nissan Sp uh, Spanish plants. Yep. We have also Saint Petersburg in Russia, 
and uh, on UK, Sunderland, that made the cash guy. So you're taking more and more responsibility. So that means that somebody in top management thinks you're a good leader. How do you think they would describe you, your leadership style? I would like to grow, in, grow up people. Mm -hmm. I like to, to put the right skills to the people. I like to put the right tools to people so they, they, can, uh, they can grow as a, uh, as a, as a professional. Mm -hmm. This is very important for me. I see the success, my success, I see for the, on, on the others. So I'm kind of a, a backup and back office, back office leadership. So mm -hmm. I, I like to, to give the, the opportunity to others to be successful. And I, see, and I see my success on the others. This is very important to me because uh, when I see the others are growing, the others are showing their projects, they are leading their, their projects, they are animating, they are piloting, coordinating. I see myself, it is, there's a piece of me in there. Okay. So you want to create a team and the context for them to be yes. successful and to shine? Yes. Okay. Now, as a common thread in these conversations, um, we ask people what their MBTI personality type is. And you shared with us that your uh, personal, uh, personality type is INFG. Uh, so you're more introvert by nature. Yeah. That's not necessarily an easy thing as a, as, as a leader, as a manager. So how do you deal with that? Oh, it's uh, being a low profile style, it's very difficult. Uh, because uh, we are constantly challenging with expo exposition, Ex being exposed. Being here, it's already an exposition for me. Yeah. So this is not my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, as my profile also says that I like challenge. Mm -hmm. So uh, I challenging myself uh, every day. And this is also a, a challenging for me to be exposed. Uh, and it is not easy because uh, we need to to do many presentations, we need to, to, to manage people, we need to coordinate projects, uh, but uh, this is a, a very, uh, this is a challenge. Yeah. Yeah. So let me read a couple of sentences here that describes people with your personality uh, type. INFGs, they motivate others by sharing a positive vision. They're um, counselor leaders, they're often quiet and unassuming, but they win others' dedication through their own hard work, uh, strong principles and inspiring ideas. Do you recognize yourself in that? I recognize, yes, I recognize uh, in that profile and I, I have done it many times. Oh, yeah. okay. And the, the answer was always the same. So okay. it was a surprise for me. <laughs> so I repeated it for always, always the same answer. So uh, mm -hmm. I can be secure that uh, this is, is a good, uh, it's a good site to test our profile. But I can see, yes, myself because uh, uh, I'm driven by values. Mm -hmm. this, is, uh, this is important for me. I, I need to see myself on, on values and uh, I need to see uh, these values on the, on, the, on the people who work with me. What are your core values? Core values are uh, being humble. It's one of the major, mm -hmm. being honest, uh, transparency, solidarity, and uh, assure that uh, when we work together, or maybe and also in family, we can, uh, we can uh, follow these values. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I'm driven by values. And uh, this is what motivates me to, to get, to get get further mm -hmm. and this is give, gives me also the, the correct framework so I can keep learning because this is a major goal for me, it's a, always keep learning. Some of the, the, the challenges and the, the points that you have to be careful with with your personality type is, is perfectionism and, and, and not going and not going too far. It's, how, do you, how do you manage that? I'm not full perfectionist but uh, I do put a lot of energy on subjects. I do, uh, uh, I do a lot of reflection. Mm -hmm. So th this can, uh, can, can give, a, can give a, a consummation of, ev of energy. Mm -hmm. But uh, I have some, uh, some uh, hints uh, how to recover for this. Yeah. Uh, so how do you get out of this focus and this vision? How do you um, de-stress? How do you? Ah, that's simple. How do you Simple relax? pleasures of life. Mm -hmm. The wind. The wind. The wind, the, um, the sea. You're the a sailor then? Or? No, I, I am a natural guy. I like nature. I like, like mountains. I like, okay. uh, I, I like to go to the beach. And I like the simple pleasures of life, the, the, 
feel simple pleasures. But you live in a beautiful country. Yes, I know. <laughs> With a lot of <laughs> nature close to the sea and, uh, yes. and so on. So, uh, and uh, sometimes I go into my grout. So I need to, to, I need to have some time for me. In your grot? Uh, isolation, maybe, maybe. I need some time. But physically, you have a. No, 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 okay. no. I, Sometimes I need time for me. Okay. So, uh, not being a 100% social mm -hmm. environment guy, yeah. so I need sometimes times for me so I can think about things. That's why maybe I like to drive 50, 50 minutes to, to, come to, to come to work because I take advantage of these 50 minutes to to recover energy and to okay. think about subjects. So your commute is positive for you? Yes, it's <laughs> positive, yes, definitely. You have a family as well? Yeah. Children? Yeah, two. So what is it that you want for your children? What is, in, in your view, the most important thing for your children? I need them to uh, have the correct tools mm -hmm. so they can achieve their goals, mm -hmm. to do what they love uh, with, the, the, with, the, with the, need, the necessary uh, tools. And what are these tools that you're giving them? Languages, uh -huh. learning, uh, skills, many experience, to test something, sports, uh, everything. They can evaluate mm -hmm. their environment so they can choose. They can have the opportunity to choose. This is what I like, this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. So if I do that, they must have they, they do uh, have to try it, they do have to, to, to test it, the, so they can have an opinion, so they can have uh, a choice, they can decide it. This is what I like, this is what I, what I want to do. And uh, as, a, as a parent, uh, they can say, my parents gave me the correct tools, so now I can choose. Okay. Who do you look up to in your life? Who are the, like, the mentors uh, in your life? Uh, definitely my father. Mm -hmm. So uh, I lost my father at the age of two, but uh, he keeps, uh, he keeps uh, near me. So when I need uh, some, uh, some advices, uh, I go in, into deep reflection. And uh, I believe he is with me, he is helping me. It is, uh, I have faith that he, he still helps me. So he's still coaching you, yeah. although he passed away yes, when you yes. were through? Yes. Okay. That's a strong belief, right? Yes, that's a strong belief. And that helps you really get over difficult periods. And, and yeah. Okay. Miguel, what is, your, what is your personal mantra? Luck happens when preparation meets opportunity, definitely. Mm -hmm. So I could add a corollary, if I can say that. Uh, it will be, be ready. Mm -hmm. So, you don't have any excuse when the opportunity knocks at your door mm -hmm. to say, I cannot take it because I'm not ready. And what do you, what, let's say, a young professional that has the ambition to have an international role in a, in, in, in a big corporate in, in, in IT, what do they need to do to be ready? Uh, establish, establish, establish the, the, the steps, mm -hmm. uh, think about the steps. When, uh, when uh, on, New Year, on New Year's Eve, maybe we have some, uh, some desires, you, you, you think about what will, what will be the, the next year. So take, take the time to think. Make the a steps, plan. Make a plan. Take the, take the time to think what, what, could, what could be the steps to reach your goal mm -hmm. and then stick to that. And, wh and what, are the, what are important steps? What are your steps that help you to, to progress in your career? Well, uh, yearly, or maybe maybe twice a year, or maybe to define. Well, uh, I like uh, multicultural environments, so I need to to focus on a, on a, on a job that allows me to interact with many people. Mm -hmm. So, and keep track on it, and go go for it. Mm -hmm. Because if if it pleasures you, if it motivates you, go. So, Miguel, maybe a strange question, but what was your best failure ever? So, uh, I have many failures because uh, when, when we are being constantly challenging yourself, mm -hmm. and there are, are also some failure implicit on a former job, that we uh, do not squeeze too much the price 
when you negotiate something. Mm -hmm. okay. Because uh, if you squeeze too much, we are not uh, we are not having, you will not have the quality you are expecting. Mm -hmm. See, this is, uh, I squeezed, squeezed one time, three t two times, three times, and then I realized that uh, the quality was not the same. And that's on with suppliers? That is, that is uh, when you negotiate a contract with the suppliers to implement, uh, to implement a network or implement something yeah. that physically need to be, to be done. And uh, when you squeeze too much, uh, so your, le your learning is make sure to have a good price. Yeah, we need to have a balance. Um, but it also needs to be a win for the supplier as yes. well. Okay. Yes, because this, we should also focus that it, it needs to be a win-win. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's good for me, it's good for them. So if you squeeze too much, it will win-lose. So, uh, so that was your brilliant mistake. A brilliant <laughs> mistake. So I learned too, too early of that. So. So Miguel, thank you very much for this conversation. We've gone into digital transformation programs, geolocalization, your management style, your new responsibilities, how you attract and, and lead people, um, what drives you, what the values are in your life, your personality type. We discussed many, many things, so I'd like to thank you for that. Thank you very much for excellent interview and it will, it will be a pleasure to receive you at our house. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you.